Let's check out a finisher real fast. Oh yeah, she looks great. He's ready to just not marry out here. <laughs> I swear I want to upload a Warzone video, but this game just doesn't let me. But what's up, guys? It's here here by Nino Work Quadigy, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Mod for 3 Multiplayer Warzone and Zombies. As you guys can see, we've got a new Pro Pack bundle to get from your platform store. So right here, I'm on the PlayStation Store. You can be on the Xbox Store, the Blizzard Store, Steam Store, and just look up the Tracer Pack Nuptial Nightmare ultra skin pro pack bundle which i'll show you guys here in a little bit and if you don't see it if you don't see this bundle in game like i said you could just look up call of duty model for three tracer pack nuptial nightmare ultra skin pro pack in whatever search bar that you're looking for but this is one of those bundles that you pay 20 dollars for straight up and it gives you a crazy looking operator skin as you guys can see here and cod points as well that uh you know pretty much make up for the price of this bundle as well as weapon blueprints and a bunch of cool stuff so you can take the cod points from this and spend it on one of the halloween bundles or you can save the cod points and just use it on black ops 6 bundles when they're usable so that's why i always recommend these types of bundles because you know you can get the stuff for this game and you can just save the cod points for something later on i'm gonna go ahead and copy right now for 20 bucks and then i'll show you guys the rest of the content in game make sure you guys drop a like subscribe if you're new turn on those post notifications if you're hyped to see what's up with this bundle i upload store bundle videos like this that interest me including tracer packs reactives ultra skips uh master crafts whatever the case is and i also upload high kill warzone gameplays from time to time that you can learn from so that's a little bit about me so i'm gonna go ahead and cop this and then we'll go in game now that i bought the bundle we can go over here to the customized section we can see the tracer pack nuptial nightmare ultra skin pro pack and check out what we receive by buying this bundle and it's like I said, you pay $20 and you get 2,400 COD points back, which I do have on my account that I can see. And uh, next up here, we got the operator skin for Void called I Don't. So you know how they say in weddings, I do? Well, she doesn't. She doesn't want to marry whoever the heck was trying to marry her. And uh, she looks great. This is a really great operator skin for the Halloween season. She, she's a bride that just, you know, said screw the wedding, see some roses on her back. This is actually a really clean operator skin, so even like just rocking this for the rest of the Halloween season, it looks really, really great. So that'll be operator skin for Void. I love the look and the the the, the vibes of it, honestly. We got the MCW called the Val here, and it comes with some Death Val tracers, and it's animated too. Look, it becomes all bloody. It's all like clean, but then it becomes all bloody. That's actually really clean. So here are the tracers. And it doesn't look like they do anything crazy, at least from this previous screen. They're probably just like red tracers or something. Here are the attachments, and keep in mind this is for an MCW, which is a meta class, or a meta gun. And uh, it doesn't come with any ammunition, so you can't put these traces on any other gun in the game, but I do like the look of it, and there's like little little flowers, like little uh, white flowers on it. So really clean blueprint, and then it turns bloody, you know, in and out, which I think is a really dope effect for a bundle. It's, just look at that. that, that's super clean. Next up, we got a DG58 LSW, known as Veiled Threat, which also has that bloody animation effect, where it's all clean at first, and then it becomes bloody, which I think is a really dope effect. And once again, looking at the tracers, okay, this, this one actually shows a little bit more. Just a little bit like a pink smoky effect, I guess. But nothing really apparent on the enemies. And here are the attachments. This is with the conversion kit, though. So I guess we'll have to check and see if uh, if it works without the conversion kit. Uh, but no ammunition tracers once again. So you can't put these tracers on any other gun in the game. But if you're a fan of the 8 LSW with the conversion kit, this is definitely a cop. It looks really clean. Has that cool bloody effect. We got the large decal known as First Dance. The Bloody Bride emblem, the Bridal Flowers weapon sticker, and the Happily Ever After loading screen, which looks really great. So honestly, hey, $20 and you get your COD points back, which, I mean, you're spending $20 for the COD points. So you can use them on Black Ops 6. You got some fire skins. Overall, I just think it's a W bundle. Without further ado, let's go ahead and go further into game and check out the, the guns in the menus. So here we have the Wedding Bride skin for the character of Void, and she looks pretty freaking awesome. Very scary. And of course, we got the Val MCW and the Veil Threat DG58 LSW. Now, when it comes to the Val MCW, you can put on any attachments, including ammunition, and you can keep the tracers. The only case where you'll lose the tracers is if you put on the conversion kit. If you put on conversion kit, you will not have the tracers, so keep that in mind. But you can change anything else. When it comes to the camos, here's how the gun looks like with Gilded. Here's how it looks like with Forged. Let's see how the blood looks like, actually. So, as you can see, they're just little splotches of blood all over the gun, no matter what camo you use. Here we got Priceless looking pretty unique as well. And once again, you can could, you could just imagine how the blood looks for the rest of the camos. Here's Interstellar, which looks really nice on this gun. Camos look really great on this gun in general. Here's Golden Enigma, in case you guys are curious. Here's Zircon Scale, Serpentinite, 
And of course, good old Borealis. So you have a good mix of like the blueprints. Here's a uh, one trick, Molten Obsidian, Mercury, and of course, Constellations N. And when you put in that nice little animated look, that, that bloody look, it really mixes out well with this gun, I think anyways. So yeah, honestly for an MCW, I mean, I think it looks really great. It only covers like the base of the gun. So you can really come up with some cool combinations. Some gun or some camos will cover the entire gun as you can see, but you still have that bloody effect no matter what camo you use apparently. So you can really make this gun look unique. You can make it look very interesting with all that blood that, that comes through because of the blueprint effect. But honestly, very W so sort of camo in my opinion. I, it'll go really well with like some of these other camos. But keep in mind, I mean, sure a lot of, oh, it looks really great about Ron Inferno. If you wanted that that full fiery effect, Rotten Inferno is one of those camos that that will look crazy. It doesn't look like the blood really shows off. It only shows off in the roses, so that that might be kind of cool for you. Here's the steel beating camo, which probably looks okay. It looks even more bloody with that bloody effect. And yeah, I don't know. So you're gonna you're gonna see some interesting combinations when you put on some of these camos. Some of these camos obviously will look better than others, but I really like the uh, the bloody effect uh, on this blueprint because. It really gives it some personality, like I said before. Here are the bold camos. That all black looks nice. We got Desolation. How's the all white camo? Yeah, the all white camo like, fits it perfectly. I mean, it's part of the blueprint in a sense. And then here's some of these solid color camos in case you were curious. So very, very nice. You can make some very dope designs with this W blueprint. Now, when it comes to the DG58 LSW, you can actually keep the tracers in almost any sort of situation. You, take, you can put on a, an ammunition attachment and you'll keep the tracers. You can take off the conversion kit and you'll keep the tracers. However, if you have this gun without the conversion kit and then you add an ammunition, then you won't have tracers in that case. But uh, pretty much in any other case, you are fine to have tracers with this gun, which is really sweet to see. Here we have Gilded, here we have Forged, here we have Priceless, and here we have Interstellar. Here we got Going Enigma, here we've got Zircon Scale, Serpentinite, and of course Borealis. Here we got One Trick, here we got Molten Obsidian, here we got Mercury looking pretty sweet. And I love how it animates with the blood as well. I think Mercury and like this blueprint go well together. And here we got Constellations and And I'll show you guys the bloody effect on this one as well in case you're curious. So there you go. And uh, when it comes to the DG50 LSW, I feel like it's not as like cool combinations as the MCW. The MCW is a little bit more pristine. Uh, the DG50 LSW has like all this tape around it, which kind of ruins the look in my opinion when it comes to combining it with camos. But, you know, I'm not really going to personally use the DG58 that much. But I'm definitely going to be a fan of that MCW a little bit more. Oh, I think Steel Beating looks really nice on this joint. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about these two Tracer guns. I think they look all right. Nothing nothing too crazy. But you will see some some cool combinations with the, the bloody effect from the blueprint. As well as some of the, the, the camo combination, I guess you could say. Anything else cool here? Eh, nothing, nothing too crazy. So yeah, this one's all right. It's not as cool as the MCW, but it's, it's okay when it comes to combinations. Just not as good as the MCW. Now I want to show you guys how the guns look like with their meta class setups for multiplayer. So here are the base blueprint attachments for the MCW, the Val. And here's the meta class setup for the MCW known as the Val. Now, you are going to keep the bloody effect on most of this gun, but if you want to cover the rest of the gun, you're going to have to put on a camo. So kind of an L, you do lose a lot of the look. Here we got the base blueprint attachments for the DG58 LSW Veiled Threat. And here's how the gun looks like with a meta class setup using the conversion kit. And honestly retains the look pretty well, so a lot better than the MCW, at least when it comes to retaining its look. And here we have the decal, in case you guys are curious, which I think looks really great. And of course, when it comes to the operator skin, she is going to be on the right side here, under the character of Void. And then obviously you choose the I don't uh, skin here, and it looks really, really great. And we got a nice little finisher to show off here, but yeah, let me know you guys how you guys are feeling about this bundle so far. Let's go ahead and head into game and see how whatever other secrets we can find out about the tracers on this bundle. Okay, so here we are with the MCW from the uh, Wedding Bride bundle. You can see that her hands are covered with like the wedding's dress, which is really nice. And here we have the DG58 LSW, which also looks really, really clean. I'm trying to see if the, uh, the blood comes out. I think it might have to be like a firing effect when the blood comes out, but it's whatever. Let me also check off the uh the iron the sights real quick okay so here's how the iron sights look in case you guys are curious and here is the dg58 dg58 lsw sights in case you guys are curious and let's check out these tracers oh yeah they're just pretty much bloody it seems like i'm not sure what else to say oh that's like a white impact on some surfaces that's actually really dope 
So yeah, freaking white tracers basically and bloody tracers, I guess you could say. Nothing too extraordinary, no sound effects or anything, but they're there. Not the craziest tracers though. Let's see if we can find anything secret about destroying an opponent. And yeah, I, I don't know. I will say the tracers are kind of they're kind of lackluster. It seems like so far. Let's see what happens when we body their body real fast. Anything crazy? Yeah, you're not really gonna see anything crazy with the tracers. I mean, they might as well not exist. They're bloody, but I mean, blood's part of the game anyway, so it's like not really needed, I guess. And here's how the operator skin looks in game when you're trying to, you know, kill them from another direction. Just really. You know, all white and bloody all over. And here we are with the Bloody Bride in third person one. And she looks really great. You see those flowers on her? She is not ready to get married at all, bro. She's about to body everybody instead, man. Freaking, freaking screw a ring. It's a crazy dress, bro. <laughs> they really went out with this skin, bro. I can't lie. They really went all the way out. Let me know what you guys think about this skin. And keep in mind, this is basically like a, almost a free bundle. You just pay the $20 and then you get the 2400 cod points back and the rest of it is pretty dope. So up to you if you find it worthy. Let's check out a finisher real fast. Oh yeah, she looks great. She's ready to just not marry out here. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this uh, bundle. Are you going to be copping it just to see what's up? Do you, get, do you think the tracers are useless? I think the tracers are kind of a letdown. I kind of wish they would have like a broken heart or something maybe as a death effect. I think that would have been cool. Or maybe some roses because they seem to be showing off a lot of roses. So the bundle could have been a little bit better. But like I said, you could just use the COD points that you get from this bundle onto Black House 6. And you can just use the operator skin because the operator skin is definitely very clean in the loading screen. But yeah, I, like I said, I want to upload a Warzone video, but I guess that have to be tomorrow. I don't think we'll get some bundles for a minute. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this. Let me know if you're going to be copping it. And how are you feeling about Black Ops 6 and just... 30 days. I freaking love you all and keep being big ballers.